Okay, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be learning on how to acquire the zeros of a quadratic function. Basically, zeros are just simply points of intersection of the given quadratic um, function, the graph of the quadratic function, to the x-axis. So again, it's just simply the intersection of the graph of the quadratic function to the given um, x-axis. So in this case, um, let's just assume this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. So meaning that the graph intersected at 1 and positive 4. So again, the point of intersection is at 1 and at positive 4. Okay. So again, those are the zeros. Okay. If you will try to input the zeros, you will receive or arrive with a zero answer. Okay, zero po yung function natin. Okay, dun siya magsi zero. In any case, po, um, we have three, four ways actually of solving for the zeros of a pressure, um, I mean the quadratic function. Okay, the very first way is of course by using the graph like this one. But we will not use that. Okay, so let's just assume that our first way is by factoring. Second way is by completing the square. And lastly, we have the quadratic fo uh, formula. Okay. So in this video, we will be discussing mainly about the solving for quadratic functions, the zeros of the quadratic function using the factoring method. Okay. So let's start now. So let's have an example for us to start with. Say we have f of x is equals to x squared minus 36. Okay. So in this given po, what we are aiming to do is to find the zeros. So therefore, we will take this one, this part, the one just with all the x's and all the constants. Okay. So we have x squared minus 36. This would be our given. Okay. And then what we need to do is we will equate that with 0 because we are looking for the zeros of this function. Okay, So x squared minus 36 is equal to 0 because we what we want is to arrive with a y that is 0 having this given function. Okay, So this is our given. So by steps, um, I will just write the step on this side. And then of course the equations on this side. Okay, So let's start na po. So the first thing that you need to do is you just need to factor out the given, okay? So, in this case, the x squared minus 36, the factoring method that you need to use there is factoring, factoring difference of 2 square. Because this one is in the, f um, in the format of difference of 2 square, x squared minus 36. So, the factored form of this one is actually x plus 6 and x minus 6 equals to 0 still. So that what we did there is we factored by DTS, okay? So the next thing that we need to do is we need to equate the two factors in to zero because that one is under the, um, what they call this, um, zero product property, okay? So under the zero product property, let's just discuss it, discuss it, discuss it on the side. Um, zero product property. Okay. So this one talks about if you're given, if you have two factors, I mean, and then it's um equals to zero. It is assumed that a is equal to zero, either a or b or both is equal to zero. Okay. So why? Because of course, um, to get a um product of zero, either one of this must be zero or both can be zero. So a could be zero and b could also be zero or a could be 0 and B could be another um, given or B could be 0 and A could be another given. Okay? So, kumbaga, what happens here is you just simply have to take the two factors and equate them both to 0. To st again, to simply put it, you need to take each factor then equate them to 0. And this is under the 0 product property. Okay? 
So again, take the two factors and then equate it always to 0. And then lastly, what we need to do is we just simply need to apply the APE or the addition property of equality or we can just simply use transposition. Okay? So in transposition, we just simply change position of the given. So this would uh, give us x equals to negative 6 and this would give us x is equals to positive 6. Therefore, giving you a 0 of x is equal to z positive or negative 6. Again, this would be your zeros. Okay? So, to check whether this one is a 0, then we just simply have to substitute to our given. Okay? So, our given is of course x squared. So, let's just put checking here. Okay? So, our 0 is of course x is equal to positive or negative 6 and our equation is x squared, what's this again, uh, minus 36, okay? So, this must be equals to 0 because we are uh, trying to find for the zeros of this function, okay? So, our, given, uh, our value for x is positive or negative 6, substituting that. Firstly, let's have positive 6. So, our given will be as x, x, Okay, raised squared, 6 minus 36 is equal to 0, giving us, of course, 36 minus 36 is equal to 0, having 0 is equal to 0. And then the next one is, of course, sor uh, sorry, is um, negative 6. Sorry, no, sorry, wait long for a while. x equals to negative 6. And then, of course, having this would give you negative 6 squared minus 36 is equal to 0. 36 minus 36 is equal to 0. Of course, this would be 0, 0. Therefore, both, if uh, both uh, equates to 0, therefore, both are correct. So, you have two zeros, okay? In any case, class, um, any given quadratic function can only have one of the following. Either they can have one zero, okay? or two zeros. It will always have those properties. Bakit po? Let's try to study our graph. Okay? So, for example, we have this one. Okay? So, in this one, the intersection is just simply one point. Therefore, if the graph, if the tip of the graph, okay, is uh, hitting the x-axis at one point, therefore, your zero would just be one. And then, of course, say we have um, this one. Okay? So, we have two intersections. Okay? And as for this one, if the graph goes up like here, therefore no intersection. But if the graph uh, goes like this again, there's no intersection. Okay? So it just depends on the given class. Okay? So I think I was wrong on the first part that I said that there will be only two cases. So there will be three cases. Okay? So that would be no intersection, one intersection, or two intersection. Okay? It depends upon the given. Okay? So yeah. So, um, the next one is, the next one is, let's try, let's have another example. Let's have another example. Say we have um, f of x equals to x squared minus 16x, okay? So, again, what we will do here is we will try to solve this one using factoring method. Given this, we take the given, uh, I mean the function, x squared minus 16x, we equate it to 0 because we are trying to find the zeros of the given, okay? So, again, factoring. This one cannot be factored using the usual um, DTS or GFQT or things like that. This one can be factored using the basic fa factoring, which is called the CMF. It would go like this, x times x minus 16 equals to 0. Okay? Having this, two factors na natin. Okay? So, we will have, of course, um, x is equal to 0, the very first factor. And then, the next one is x minus 16 is equals to 0. Okay? This one is already done, but this one would still be needing APE will give you 16. Okay? So, x is equal to 0 and x is equals to 16. And those would be your two possible zeros but we still need to check whether your answer is correct or not.
So by checking again, okay, by checking again, let's see whether your answer is correct, okay? So firstly, we have x is equal to 0, and our equation is, of course, x squared minus 16x is equal to 0, 0 squared minus 16 times 0 is equal to 0, and then, of course, multiplying that, 0 is equal to 0, therefore, it is correct, okay? But if we try 16, okay, let's try 16, so x is equal to 16, then we will have 16 squared minus 16 times 16 is equal to 0. 16 squared is just simply also uh, can be expressed as 16 times 16 minus 16 times 16 is equal to 0. This one are the same numbers. They are the same number except for the minus sign. So it's just like saying you have 6 minus 6. And the answer there would also would be of course 0. Giving you a 0, 0, therefore your zeros, which is of course um your zeros, which is of course this two, yeah, this one and then this one, they are correct. Okay. So let's have another example. Let's have four examples for this video for the factoring method. Okay. So we have f of x equals to x squared minus 11x plus 24. Then try to factor this one. Again, equate to 0. Equate it to 0. And then once equated to 0, factor it out. I think the factor of this one would be 24. The factors of 24 is 4 times... Wait long. Let me let me try. 24 divided by 4. It's 4 times 6. No... Um, maybe 12 times 2? Yeah, pero, but 12 times 2, okay. Um, what are the factors of 24? No, not 2. Maybe 3? Um, okay, so maybe the factor is x minus 8 times x minus 3. The answer there is 24, but if we add these two, that would be negative 11. Okay, so now we have our factors. We, div we partition it. So, x minus 8 is equal to 0, and we have x minus 3 is equal to 0, giving us a 0 of, by APE, x is equal to 8, and x is equal to 3. So, those are your two zeros, 8 and 3, okay? If you want to be sure that those are your zeros, you just simply have to check, checking, okay? And under checking, simply this is substitution, x is equal to 8, and we have ne and 3, and our equation is x squared minus 11x plus 24. Um, we will have, for 8, we have 8 squared minus 11 times 8 plus 24. Okay, so dapat it should be equals to 0. Okay, it should be equals to 0. So 8 squared is 64 plus 24, the answer is 88. So this one is equals to 88. Okay. And then this one is negative 88 plus 88, giving you an answer of 0. Therefore, your first 0 is correct. The next one, let's try. Let's try positive 3. 3 squared minus 11 times 3. Oops, sorry. And we have plus 24. Should be equal to 0. 3 squared is 9 plus 24. The answer is 33. And this is negative 33 because it's 11 times 3. The answer is also 0. Okay? If the answers are 0, therefore your zeros are also correct. This is checking, by the way. Okay? And our last example. Say we have <coughs> f of x is equal to x, I'm oh, sorry, to x squared minus x minus 28. Um, sorry. Um, factoring this one, equating it to 0 and factoring them. So maybe, me, uh, let, let me just think, maybe it's um, 2x plus 7. Okay, it's 2x, 7, 28. To get 28, I need 4. So and it's, it's minus, so 4. This is 7 and this is, um, what is this, 8. Okay, this is correct. Okay, equals to 0. Equate it to 0 again on both um, factors. So it's 20, 2x plus 7 is equal to 0. 
Then again, x minus 4 is equals to 0. Let me move up a little bit. Okay, there you go. Then again, APE ulit. It's again APE. So this is 2x equals to negative 7. Then we have divided by 2 and 2. x is equals to negative 7 over 2. That would be for the first one. For the second one, a little bit easy. A little bit of fast APE. It's x equals to 4. So we have two zeros. This one and then this one. Sorry. We have two zeros. This one and then this one. Okay. So meaning by checking, if you want to be sure whether your answer is correct, by checking you will have x equals to negative 7 over 2 and you have 4. And your given is just simply 2x squared minus x minus 28. Um, by substitution, una tayo, 2 times negative 7 over 2 squared. Am I correct? Minus, um, this is negative 7 over 2 minus 28 is equals to 0. Supposed to be equals to 0. For what? Okay. Yeah, equals to 0. So, I will just use my calculator so that we will answer this one a little bit faster. 7 over 2 squared minus, um, oh sorry, minus negative 7 over 2. I'm just trying to be sure, minus 28. So the answer here is 0. You can try to use your calculator, okay? As for the next one, 4 squared minus 4 minus 28 should be equal to 0. So 4 squared is, of course, 16 times 2. The answer is 32 minus 4 minus 28. 4 and 28 will give you 32. And 32 minus 32 is, of course, 0. Correct for the first one and correct for the next one, therefore giving you these two zeros, which is negative 7 and 2, and we have positive 4. Okay, so that is how you get the zeros of your given quadratic function by using the factoring method. Okay, you can use other methods like graphing, but I don't suggest that. On our next video, we will be using the finding the zeros by the completing the square okay so if you have any other questions you can review the video and of course you can ask me during our classes okay so thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh